Welcome to Being Heard. My name is Tom Graham, and I am committed that every voice is heard, even my own. And I'm here today with Aaron Thalmer. And welcome, Aaron. Thank you. Glad to be here. How about you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, well, I am a... <clears throat> I am an amazing, multi-dimensional, complicated, simple human being. Um, I currently live in the North Atlantic, Mid-Atlantic states <laughs> um, in Maryland, and uh, I'm an instrumental music teacher. That is my trade and um, have been a musician for a very long time. I am a wife and mother. And uh, yeah, I just sister, aunt, daughter, all those things. I, I wear all the hats and I wear them all with so much joy. Awesome. And so I just, just to frame it up, we're talking about the seven P's and that's passion, perseverance, perspective, priorities, purpose, patience, and prayer. And um, I've got a unique question for each of them, and I might dig a little deeper if that's okay. Absolutely. Awesome. So the first one we'll start off with is passion. And so my question to you is, I've got these questions and I'm laying them out in a list. And so I'm asking the same question, like as close as I can. Okay. To person. And so how do you take actions to increase your passion? Hmm. So passion for me is a multi-dimensional word. And at first, when I think about passion, I think about the bedroom. And so my husband and I, we try to keep things passionate by being in different places and being spontaneous and, um, yeah, just being freer with with each other in that way so um that's like what comes to me first when it comes to passion and then i think about passion as like my life force and how do i move that forward well as a teacher and a musician those are you have to be passionate about those things because there's so much to them um and i keep that moving forward by continuing my education as far as like a, being a teacher goes, um, challenging myself with new music, uh, new groups of people to play music with. Um, yeah, so I think that's how I, I keep that passion moving forward. I, I just got to ask, it's just sitting out there. So does, do, 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 you, do you derive passion from music when you're with your husband? Um, okay, so and maybe I shouldn't ask that, but no, it's totally like, fine. No, it's totally fine. Um, so when we were kids, because I've known my husband since we were 12, um, and when we were young in our relationship, we would use music as a means to create some extra noise so nobody would know what we were doing. Okay, okay, so, so it was more like a um like a a cloak because there's enough like passion between the two of us that it just doesn't like we don't need music to set the mood perfect i just thank you for clarifying <laughs> yeah. i feel a little embarrassed for asking oh it's fine i mean i brought it up so i feel like if i bring it up in the interview <laughs> that it's you know fair game awesome well thank you and then um, the next one is perseverance. What is something worth so much to you that you would do anything, push through anything to have? Um, do you want me to name the actual thing that... Yeah. What is it that uh, drives you like that? Hmm. When, when I have a goal... And 
they, some, there are some time, there are certain things where I'm like, nothing's getting in my way. I got to get this done. And whether it's a goal that I really want to complete or one I really have to complete, I have this moment of like mental grit where I'm like, the blinders are on and nobody can get in my way. And if you try to get in my way, I'm going to very politely and respectfully tell you to get out of my way. Um, so sometimes that looks like closing a door and saying, don't come in here. Sometimes it looks like I'm going outside and I need to be outside and, and you know, let me be. Sometimes, and usually not this way, but I've done, I've done this before. Sometimes it looks like I need your help. And I'm not so good with that one. I'm really good at like kind of closing a door and, and shutting people out and putting myself into my zone. Um, but if I'm asking for help, then I feel like that helps me to grow because it's not always my forte to ask for help. I hope that answers the question. Oh well, yeah, and it, there is no wrong answer. Okay. And so what I got out of I got an image and it was like you on a bulldozer. <laughs> like I'm not going to be stopped. Good luck. Right. Sometimes it is like that. I got it. Thank you. The next one is perspective. And so would shifting your perspective change your level of joy in the moment? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I've always felt like I can see things from multiple perspectives. And I've mm -hmm. always kind of pride, I've held a lot of pride in the fact that uh, I am not like so one sided that I can't see the other side of the coin. Um, but yeah, shifting my perspective especially if I'm feeling stressed or in, an, in a situation I don't want to be in, will, will definitely always bring me more joy. Cool. Now, the next one is priorities. Are your priorities setting you up for creating more joy? Hmm. Long-term, yes. Long-term, yes. That's the short answer. Yeah, you want to embellish yes. a little? Absolutely. So, um, one of my priorities is to have a better sense of self and my connection with the universe, with people, with nature, with all, all the things. Um, so, because that, my, my self growth and my self development has been such a burning fire at, at this time for like the last several months. Um, that has definitely helped so that I can kind of define and say like, okay, you're not going to be working for other people for the rest of your life. You're going to dive in and you're going to have your, your own thing. You are going to be your own boss. So getting these other pieces in line is definitely part of the whole big picture. Cool. Well, thank you. Absolutely. That's cool. Um, the next one is purpose. You ready for this one? <gasps> yes. <laughs> is your ladder up against the right wall? Hmm. Right now it is. Yeah. Right now it is. The. Go ahead. And and what are you building with that? I am building. I'm building a space, within me, and with on the outside of me. Where, people can come for healing, and whether it's, spiritual, emotional mental, physical, I'm building that space. And I have all of the plans to make this happen. Um, and I just, I just wanna bring that sacred healing to people 
so that they can have more peace and a more fulfilled life. Mm -hmm. So yeah, right now, and right now my ladder has to be leaning against a wall that's not the building, but the ladder's gonna shift over to the building. It's not, it's right now it's leaning against the wall that says, this, this is your means to getting over there. That's interesting. It's a great visual. Yeah, that's the best. Like I see it the way that um, when you ask the question, I was like, oh, this is good. And I could see my ladder like against the wall because that's where it's been for so long. Like that's where I set it up and that's where it's been. But the other building is over here. And as as this building gets ready, the ladder's going to shift over. It's going to go to the other wall. Awesome. Now I'm supposed to pay attention here. And <laughs> Patience. Are there areas in your life where you don't have patience? Oh, yes. Absolutely. And um, it's often with the people who are in my closest circle. Um, I don't know if you know about Irish music, but... No. So Irish music is, um, like, when, when it's, it's a oral tradition, like many things in Irish culture. So there's a thing called a Cayley, and this Cayley is often done in, like, pubs and small, like, intimate areas. And it's a way to pass down the traditions of Irish music. And so you've got the inner ring, which is usually four musicians. And those are like the, those four musicians are the masters of that music. And so they are the ones that they've got it. And then the next ring out is the people who are the next best. And then there's another ring of another level. So each ring, like the further you get out on the ring, the less experience you have. But that inner circle, those are the people that know all the secrets. They know all of all the things. So those people in my inner circle are usually the ones that I'm the least patient with. And I should be the most patient with them. But um, sometimes it just, I've gotten so much better at recognizing it when it comes up. So I'm able to say like, hey kids, Give me a minute. Like, let's let's reset. Let's reset the room. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, and and I'm sure like my husband would admit the same that it's easiest. Like the people that are the closest to you are often the ones who are the most forgiving, and I definitely fall into that. It's definitely easier for me to be really patient with other people's kids, and for me to be like, hey, kid. Like, this is not my own child to be like, you better put yourself in line. <laughs> and I mean, we know, like, you've got kids, you know, like. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. And, it's, own. <laughs> and I, the, the follow up thing is look for a pattern, but I think you've already expressed the pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. The last one is prayer, and it's a little bit of a leading question. And do you pray uh, a prayer for pride of yourself, for gratitude, for what you desire, and for what you love about yourself? Hmm. So when I think about prayer, I always start it, I always start my prayers with, Dear God, thank you for this day. Every single time. And I'll go through, I'll start with gratitude. Mm -hmm. um, always. And if I am asking for something, I will then, you know, go after, after my gratitudes, I'll, I'll ask, you know, like, if I'm praying for someone's health, like, please allow health to come into this person's life. Or um, I often pray for my children to always be 
safe and to be their best selves. I ask, you know, I always call in their guardian angels. I'm always like, you know, like, this one needs extra today. <laughs> um, so please, please walk closely with him. Um, but yeah, I, I always start in that way. And when I, I'm not so good at, you know, thanking God for what I love about myself. I am fake, always saying, you know, like, thank you, God, for giving me a healthy body and, and thank you, God, for um, making it so that I can do what I need to do in the world. Um, you know, but I'm, I'm not always so good at saying, like, God, you, you did great here. Like, this, this is awesome. I'm, even though, like, I really do think this, I do think, like, man, God knew what he was doing when he put this together. But then there are days where I'm like, back in tomorrow. Awesome. I really enjoy you, Erin. Oh, I've enjoyed this conversation. It's so awesome. I got a question for you. What would you like to be acknowledged for? Hmm. Hmm. What would I like to be acknowledged for? It can be anything. I think I'd like to be acknowledged for... Hmm. I want to make this really thoughtful. I mean, there's okay. like a million things that come up quickly, but... I guess for the work I've done in the world, in the realm, not just in the realm of teaching, I mean, that's, that's a, a fantastic accomplishment, but I feel like I get to show that off several times a year through concerts with the kids. Um, and I get that acknowledgement there from the audience. And that's, that's lovely, but you know, that's fleeting in a way. Um, because your mind instantly goes to like, oh, I got, I got another one coming up there. Oh, there's another one coming up. Like there's always that movement in that way. But I think what I'd really like to be acknowledged for is the healing that I am able to bring into the world, whether it's through music, through energy work, through, um, just being a good girlfriend or being, you know, just a good sister. I think that, and I, that's something I, I think I'd really like to just be acknowledged for in that way. Awesome. Anything else? Um, no, I think that's. I'll sprinkle a little extra in just because okay. that's what I see. <laughs> so Aaron, I acknowledge you for who you are in the world as wherever you show up in any situation, whoever you're dealing with, you are holding space for healing. And it's this connection and healing that you're spreading out. You're just glowing. And I acknowledge you for that. And I acknowledge you for already creating this structure and the plans for a new structure where it's like the second part of your life, you're creating this whole new venture. And it's like you are exemplifying and you're listening to your life song. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. I received that. And it just really, like, I can feel my heart chakra just like radiating. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to stop it here. Okay.